Treating cancer once it spreads to other parts of the body can be tricky. Many patients have to undergo scans that involve the use of radioactive medicine to determine where the cancer is. But what happens when that nuclear medicine isn't injected properly? WRL health reporter Grace Haber found out oftentimes patients are never told something went wrong. Pam Cole starts each morning. And our little chickens. Grateful for the little things. I had a small tumor less than a centimeter. She was first diagnosed with breast cancer in 2009. After being declared cancer free, her disease spread, progressing to stage four by 2017. Originally I was told I had two to three years to live with metastatic breast cancer. A large reason she's still here. <coughs> Seven years after that second diagnosis are the trips she makes to her doctors every three months for scans. We are injecting now. WRAL joined her in 2019 for one of those visits, capturing the moment radioactive medicine was pushed through her veins. It has to be exact in terms of your height and your weight. The nuclear medicine illuminates cancer on pet and bone scans just like this one to show if it's spread. But the medicine can be injected incorrectly, leaving radiation sitting in a patient's tissue instead of circulating through their bloodstream. For me, it was burning. Cole still remembers when it happened to her. There was a big blob of nuclear medicine in my elbow area. These extravasations, as they're called, can not only cause a scan to be inaccurate, but also cause a whole host of problems down the line including other cancers. Currently, institutions are not obligated to tell patients when something like this happens, leaving many in the dark. It's why Cole and others are now pushing for the Nuclear Medicine Clarification Act to become law. The bill would help protect patients from unintended exposure to radiation by requiring institutions to report when things don't go as planned. You're depending on, the, on all the people around you to take care of you, and you want to trust. Grace Haba, WRAL News.